welcome back to another video. I am your girl Makeup Chin. Thank you so much for joining me again to this book review today. If it's your first time joining us, I'm going to fill you guys in on a book a week challenge is here on my channel. We pretty much just read self-help slash self-development books. You can find these books in your local library uh, free of charge if you have your library card or you can also go to the bookstore your local bookstore and you can find them in the self-help self-development section and we pretty much just read these type of books once a week you know something to keep us motivated something to keep us inspired um, it's something to just keep us growing keep our souls growing keep our minds growing and all that good stuff so I'm super excited that um, a lot of you guys are actually really participating for you you guys tag me on Instagram you guys are using the hashtags and I'm really 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 truly like it's it's crazy because when I started it I was just like um I, I really wasn't expecting um you know a lot of people to be joining in on it however you guys are and listen I can't complain you know I mean I'm not gonna sit here and and, and force everybody to do it but it is a good Thing to do you know it, it definitely is a good cause if you want to grow spiritually mentally um, you know just to learn things you know when you the more you read the more you learn and the more you learn is the more you grow it's so simple it's fun that's pretty much what a book a week, a, a week is you pretty much just read a book a week you hashtag us um, so we can you know if you want to leave a little mini review on your um, Instagram, you know, underneath your Instagram picture of the book or whatever it is, stating what the book is about. That's greatly appreciated. It'll help us all and we can just go out and get the book and, you know, read it for ourselves. Okay, so this book in particular is called Becoming Your Best Self. Guide to Clarity, Inspiration, and Joy. And the author is called Sarah Wiseman. All right, now on the front of the book, it also says, intuition is our most natural way of knowing. This book helps you return to innit, clarity, and flow with ease, common sense tips and insights. It guides you into your truest self. On the back of the book here, we have um, experience your own intuitive awakening. Yes! Only those that are in a certain mind space are going to understand i'm um, i'm trying to choose my, my my words um carefully because i don't want to offend anyone when you have a spiritual awakening is um, whenever you go through a certain period in your life so if you're going through a really difficult time in your life you might find that you're starting to gravitate towards um a certain lifestyle a certain belief system um or you know like certain things just kind of trigger you to switch and you just want a better life for yourself it's not something where you say um oh i want to I, like i want a spiritual awakening it's gonna happen right away nah it, it does i mean it can't happen like that but it doesn't really happen like that because it's not logical you know what i mean in a sense so it's like okay if you um if you're going through a spiritual awakening it's like all right you're finally waking up you finally um noticing that um whatever you were taught or whatever your belief system was growing up as a child or into an into a teenager into an adult things like that um aren't really the case i'm not gonna get into that you guys but i want y'all to get into it on your own this book is a freaking amazing okay and i'm gonna keep it real because makeup chin always keeps it real let me put a disclaimer out there no matter how many books that i read no matter how many books i've come across um and how many books that i'm going to come across i i'm never naive books and I also apply them to my life. And I'm very open-minded with certain things. So I just don't read them and say, oh, just because I read certain things that that's the right thing. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, I some people might read certain things and be like, oh, I don't believe in that. That's totally fine. Just don't be naive to whatever it is that you're reading. However, just know that these authors that are um, writing these types of books are writing these types of books for a reason. Like, either they studied... Um, they did some studies or either they are spiritual leaders, spiritual teachers, 
it's I'm not naive to it. I read it and if I feel if in my spirit that I feel like this is the right thing or what they're saying is 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 somewhat true and I could put two and two together then good. You know what I mean? Like I never want nobody to pick up a book and read a book and say, "Oh, this is definitely what it is and you need to be reading this book." Like no, that's just the same way as you picking up the Bible and saying, oh, this is what, this is what something, 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 something said, and you need to believe in it. Like, no, nobody is pressuring you. Nobody is putting anything on you to say, oh, you need to believe in this and you need to believe in that. And this is what happened because we really don't at the end of the day. You know what I mean? However, I do find self-help books very, very informative and to an extent, it, the things that you're going to be reading in these books, you already know. It's all just confirmation. Nothing in these books that I find that um you read and you you just don't you never experience or you just don't know about. A lot of times we don't really know. Tuition um is always there and we just don't really know because we wasn't really woken up yeah so this book is very 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 powerful and i'm not going to sit here and lie to you guys it is a very scary book and when i say scary is it was scary for me scary in a sense that this book talks about spirit guides <laughs> and um how to connect with the departed so if you have someone, you know, that's departed from here, whether, you know, basically someone that died. So if it's your dad, if it's your mom, if it's your grandparents, whoever it is that departed, um, it teaches you how to connect with them. I'm not going to explain to you guys exactly what it's about. That's the purpose of the review of the book. I'm just going to let you guys know what's in it. And if you're interested and you find it interesting, then you can go pick it up for yourselves. Number one thing with this book is it teaches you how to pay attention to your intuition intuition is everything intuition pretty much just it's always with you it's that gut feeling with inside of you where um you can sense things you know what's bs from from what's the truth and also it teaches you how to unleash your psychic powers now that's exactly why i say this book is a little bit scary i'm not going to sit up here and say it wasn't scary to me the first time i read it and it was giving me exercises to do i was like i don't know if i can do this you know and then um the further i got into the book like a few chapters i started realizing i was reading it at night and when i was reading it at night i was actually having nightmares not nightmares but i was having dreams or thoughts about whatever it is that i was reading so it was kind of influencing you know the way that my subconscious mind was taking in all this information and it was a little bit scary you know speaking about spiritual guides and, you know um energy showing up anywhere anytime it definitely opens up your your consciousness and um it just makes you more aware now i do want to say that the book is solely based on love there isn't anything negative in this book there isn't anything um of negative energy at all and people might refer to um the higher power as god as the universe as one um, as the divine we're just all one and it just teaches you that we're all connected like we really are connected and i got a little bit confused at first when it comes to connected because i was thinking oh that's my sister that's my brother nah that's not what that means connected doesn't mean that i mean it it in a sense that's what it is but that's not really what it is it means that we're energetically connected so whatever it is that you're feeling whatever it is that you're thinking um everything has a connection so it doesn't matter if you're human form it doesn't matter if you are plant form it doesn't matter if you're animal form we're all connected so that's what the book teaches you about and um it just tells you about energy it tells you that we are soul we're not we're we're like we're on earth but this isn't our 
only existence it's pretty much telling you that um there is a before life there's an afterlife so whoever we are right now we're pretty much physical beings but we really connect soul to soul um so it's really freaking dope i'm not going to lie it really taught me a lot um you know and it teaches you how to connect with somebody if you want love you know if like i said the departed it teaches you just pretty much how to um connect with whoever it is that you want to connect with <coughs> without any excuse me without any egos involved without any bad mouth involved because whenever you speak to somebody sometimes we base out we are human form so we base ourselves off of emotions so instead of you hearing somebody that's saying i don't like you because so and so and so you know you it teaches you how to speak soul to soul to somebody without speaking to them directly and it teaches you how to reconcile with somebody without even dealing with them you know so it's a really really dope book um it's about love and how we just don't have one soulmate at first i didn't no lie i didn't really know what a soulmate fully was i didn't know if you can have one soulmate if you can have multiple soulmates i didn't know what the definition of a soulmate was okay and this book really flat out just spit it right in my face and i was like whoa you don't have and i firmly believe this i honestly do you do not have just one soulmate in life it tells you that meets you somewhere that meets you on the same level that you are consciously at the very moment so you notice when you were um when you were immature you know in high school that much is wherever you are consciously in your mind is who you will attract so you ever looked at the guy that you were dating in high school and you're like damn we were like the perfect match i loved him so much like damn why had it ended you know like why did it have to end and then later on like five years or maybe two years later down the line you meet john and and now you grown spiritually you've grown your mind is just different and john's mind is the same as your mind and you're looking at john like well my high school my high school crush and my, my boyfriend wasn't thinking the same way that john was thinking that's exactly what it is so and i was like wow like the universe connects you to people that are on the same level as you and are able to connect with you consciously you guys have things to talk about because if you were with your high school um your high school sweetheart or wherever it was you know if he's not growing the same at the same pace that you're growing you guys don't have a connection you you don't really have anything to talk about and that's what the, this book teaches you about um that everybody that you meet is at a certain point in your life of where you are so you're pretty much attracting they say like attract like so you're attracting whoever you are becoming ooh, 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 ooh. wait what's that guy's name um infinite waters that's like infinite waters you know when you hit something on the nail you're like ooh. and i get a hello if you guys don't know about infinite waters he's actually right here on youtube too he's dope i watch him sometimes whenever you're not on the same level as somebody they got to go because y'all are not connecting girlfriend this is why it's so important to read these kind of things because you just expand your consciousness and it's just amazing you know <laughs> um because i i went through that for the longest you know i was like dang like I really want this guy back and I really was so comfortable with him we created memories but now that I know this there's no hard feelings I'm so, like of course I love him but I'm willing to let him go because he's not on the same conscious level as me girl and once you realize that you are far beyond certain people or maybe they're far beyond you who's to say but just let the universe work let the universe do its thing and you just flow with it and that's just what it is you'll find somebody else the universe will bring somebody else into your life based on where you are but yeah it's super duper dope like it's so dope and i like i said i encourage every one of you guys to go ahead and um and get the book i'm not even gonna get, go back into much of it and this book is called becoming your best self 
by Sarah Wiseman and don't forget if you guys are tagging along um you know definitely hashtag us on Instagram it's a book a week challenge I'm also don't forget to at me and tag me on my Instagram page it's called makeup chin good luck you guys on your journey I really appreciate you guys joining this with me it really really means a lot because you know it's good that we um you know they always say whatever passion that you're in whatever passion that you're pursuing it's always great to just have a team of people around you or you know a couple of people that are really about it about it the way that you're about it about it so you just don't feel alone and it's great because i see a lot of you guys are into the same things that i'm into into law of attraction and stuff like that and you just want to grow spiritually and just grow into your best self and it's amazing all right it's my little secret everything happens for a reason just always know the universe is by your side you're never alone no matter how much you feel like you're gonna be alone without a certain person or you might feel like you know you, you can't do it or something might have happened and you're like why did this happen to me you getting upset girl don't get upset to and gentlemen too because i know some of the men watch me <laughs> you know don't get upset don't get upset everything is for a reason whatever you're reflecting on the inside and you feel is coming out on the outside and the universe is by your side god the universe the divine he never leaves you he's always here with you and don't ever forget that thank you guys so much for watching this video and i'll see you guys again bye